This short tutorial explains the purpose of master pages, how to create and use them. Master pages come in handy when you have a document that consists of multiple pages with the same design or with design elements that appear consistently on each page. Think of them as templates you can use within a project. So let's take a closer look at how to create and apply them. In Swift Publisher's main window, just click on the booklet icon at the top of the canvas to open the Pages panel. This is where you can add and delete pages, but more importantly for this tutorial, this is where you can work with master pages. Let's select Master Pages and close this panel. As you might have noticed, the gray area surrounding the canvas has turned to a light blue color. This lets us know that we are now editing a master page. There's a drop-down menu above the top right corner of the canvas, which also indicates that we are in master page mode. You can also use it to switch between editing the master and content pages. So which design elements can we place here? Well, that's simple. The ones that are consistent throughout your project. So let's draw a colored background at the top of the page and then add a couple more graphic elements. That's all we have to do for the design. Let's once again open the Pages panel. Notice that near the Page Preview, we can see an A. That's the name of our newly created master page. Now, if necessary, we can add additional pages, and they are all labeled alphabetically. Now, let's switch back to our content pages. As you can see, our pages are still blank. That's because master pages need to be applied to each page of our project. To do that, just select one or multiple pages, click on the gear button, hover over to Apply Master Page, and select Master A. Then our design will appear. The name of the applied master page will appear near the page preview. Please take note of one important point. When we switch to the background tab, we cannot select or edit anything. That's another advantage to master pages. They appear as another layer that lies behind the background, so we get our design without any clutter. But don't worry, we can still edit everything. To edit a master page, we just need to switch back to the master pages and do the work there. So with our text and the addition of a few other objects, our project is complete. And the best part is that we only had to design our background once. If you are creating a booklet, you may want to use different master pages for left and right pages of your document. The Pages panel lets you right-click on any odd or even page and select the rest of odd or even pages. In this way, you can apply left and right master pages in a few clicks. So having learned about this nice shortcut in Swift Publisher, go ahead and get started.